Welcome to another Residential Wire Pro video. This video will show you how to use the Inventory Manager in the Wire Pro, how to assign database items to your symbols in your project, and create reports for cost and estimation. To access the Inventory Manager, first thing you do is you go up to Tools and choose Inventory Manager. And here's where uh, all the detailed information for various items are stored. Uh, so we have several main categories as we scroll through here and under these main categories are also subcategories. So under receptacles we've expanded this and now we have access to uh, several different types of receptacles. Uh, if we choose the duplex here we'll have a list that shows up. If we also expand this duplex if we have any uh, uh, other options under there. In this case we have one uh, without ground but in this one there are no entries there. So uh, under the duplex again here are all the preset listings that we have currently. Actually, we have various types and colors and different things. So uh, you can easily edit these uh, by simply just double clicking on an item, or you can click that edit item uh, once it's highlighted there. And this will bring up another window where you can edit the inventory item. You can change the color, uh, model, uh, cost values as well. Uh, in this case, let's just adjust the cost value. And we'll show you what it does here. Uh, our my cost is we just put $1. We'll hit save. And what it does is it edits this uh, listing here in our database. And you'll notice over here where it says retail cost, uh, it says $1.12. Uh, and to get that, uh, actually let me show you real quick. I'm going to close out of this. And this is set over here under project, set inventory retail cost calculation percentage. So here we have a percentage set for 12%. And you can change and adjust that as you desire. And so going back over to the inventory manager. Uh, that's where that uh, is being reflected from. And You'll also notice that this color has changed to green. So this is color coded here. It just simply means that uh, this listing, the retail value, is calculated in it. And these other ones, um, there is no my cost value. So these are red entries. Now if we manually enter the retail value, then that listing would turn yellow. So if we click back on this listing here, we have a couple other op options to show you here. Um, again, I showed you to uh, double click that. Um, we'll bring up the uh, inventory item editing. Uh, but you also can access that from here. You can delete the item from the database. Uh, you can duplicate the item uh, or you can do uh, this create a quick link. And what that does is it adds that item to this quick link section. So that's an item that you're going to use often. Um, you can simply access it from the quick link section here. So this is the area that your main item information is going to be stored and then we're going to be accessing this information and we'll show you how we're going to uh, assign the database items to particular symbols in your project. So back at our main project here, we have a sample project that we're going to use uh, that already has items assigned. Um, so we're going to zoom in here. If I hold down Z, I'm just going to drag and zoom to an area here. Let's drag to these switches and receptacles. So if I click on a receptacle, and these ones again are already pre-assigned, um, you'll notice that if I scroll down the property section over here, that I have some listings. And these are inventory database items that are assigned to this symbol. And to add an inventory item, uh, what we do is we click on this button. It says add a new additional inventory item. And what we can do here is we'll just browse through. Uh, we're already set for duplex, but you just browse through like you did in the inventory manager uh, to the area of uh, item that you want to add and then you can just choose the item and, and we already have an item attached here so we're just going to cancel this but we do have a couple other items also attached to this particular symbol and we have a receptacle box as well as a wall plate and we just have a quantity of one attached to each one of these now again in here um, you can also edit these particular items from this point as well um, so we can click edit and we can also have access to editing um, the inventory item information like we did in the inventory manager. It's just a convenient place to do that here also. And we can even choose to save and update the database uh, from this point as well if we want. Or if we just choose save, what that'll do is it'll just save that information uh, based on this project. So if we had a particular cost value or we wanted to leave the cost value set for zero uh, in the inventory database, we can change the cost values here and it'll just reflect it based on this project. Uh, so we choose save uh, instead of save and update the database. And all these items that we attach to this particular symbol, these items are going to be included in our reports in the end. Uh, and we also have a, an option for some more detailed information. You can click this button here uh, to hide and show detailed information. 
And so now each of these uh, items that we've added, uh, you can see uh, various details, uh, a little bit more detail than what we had before when we just had it uh, minimized here. And one thing to make note of when you're adding uh, symbols to your project that you will want to have a database items assigned to. In this case, if we go to uh, add a GFCI receptacle, you'll notice we don't have any item assigned to this particular symbol. So if we start placing the symbol uh, and we go to click on it, um, there's nothing assigned to that. If we go ahead and select um, to assign a particular item, inventory item to this symbol, uh, it'll be assigned just to that particular symbol. And so as we click on this other one, you'll notice that that one does not have anything assigned to it. So one thing you can do to make things easier, let's just go ahead and delete these two. And so we're going to go and add a GFCI. The first thing you can do is uh, go over uh, to select and add an inventory item before you even begin to place the symbol. So we'll go ahead and click and we'll just add this item. And so if you had any cost value assigned to this from your inventory manager that you had set in there, uh, it'll reflect uh, when you go ahead and uh, add this item to uh, this particular GFCI. So we hit select. And now as we place our symbols, uh, every symbol that we place is going to have that particular uh, database item assigned to that. So as we click on all these symbols, you'll notice that that is assigned to that particular GFCI. Another option, if you're placing symbols uh, in your diagram, let's say in this case again we have this GFCI and let's say there's nothing assigned to those particular symbols, uh, we can right click and choose select all by object type. And we can go over here under receptacles, we can either do all receptacles, uh, just the duplex receptacles, in this case we have several GFCIs, we can click on that particular item and it'll highlight all the GFCI symbols and we can simply add an inventory item just by hitting select there. Let's say they were all going to be the same. We hit select. And then now, if we click on each of these individual ones, they also share the same uh, inventory item attached to that. So there's a couple different options to just kind of make things uh, work faster and easier as you go. And also, uh, this is useful for uh, if at any time you want to change a particular entry for that symbol, you can also, again, go back here. We can right click. We can choose those GFCI receptacles. So that highlights them and we can go and we can actually edit the entry too. So in this case, if we wanted to add a cost value here, uh, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and put, let's just put $3 here. Uh, and at this point we can choose to save and update it to the database or just save it for this particular project. So let's go ahead and hit save for this particular project. And now when we go to ref, um, run our reports, it will reflect those changes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the next section here uh, for adding inventory items um, to your project that don't actually have a symbol that you can assign to. And these will be things like labor and permits and things. And to do that, we go uh, under project and we choose this option to add additional inventory for this project. And here uh, you can see that we have a whole bunch of things that has been added uh, that doesn't necessarily have symbols in our project that we can assign them to. And so let me go ahead and just widen this up a little bit. And you can see all the details of these particular items. And to add an item, all you do is just uh, choose this add a new inventory item. And again, you can just browse through the section that you want to add something to. So let's say in this case, under labor, uh, we can add a per person per hour here. These are listings that we have listed. And again, under the inventory manager, you can add uh, additional subcategory options here. So let's just say we choose this one here. We just hit select item, and that'll uh, be added to the listing. At any point, you can uh, click to edit these options um, to add uh, more details, uh, different costs. Um, as well as uh, quantity and you can add the quantity uh, simply by clicking this button here or you can just double click over the quantity column and then uh, enter the quantity that you want to add to it and hit OK and it'll update this project inventory here. And a couple other options up here. Uh, you can choose to update the information of this particular selected item uh, with what's actually listed in the database um, or you can do the other direction. You can update the database with the information from the selected item. So you can make some of these detailed changes uh, in the various locations just to make it convenient for you. 
So now we're going to move on to uh, doing our reports. We've showed you uh, the inventory manager, and we've showed you how to assign uh, database items to uh, particular symbols in your project, uh, as well as adding additional inventory um, stuff into your project through your project inventory. So next what we want to do is we want to go to reports and then we want to choose project report and this will give us uh, a report of everything that's listed basically in our project inventory as well as the items um, that are assigned to particular symbols. Uh, we can go ahead and zoom in here and just kind of see an itemized list. You have the option to choose either simple or itemized as an option and up here we have three pages so we can click through the different pages that we have and the bottom here we have uh, kind of a, a rundown on the totals and you have noticed here you see a tax option here to adjust that we simply go to the tax section under state tax you enter your state and then also the tax and whether you want to include it in the report or not if we uncheck that it'll take that out of the report and back under general settings uh, down below here you have you can choose to show the cost where the costs are not shown at all uh, so you just have a, a kind of a list of what's going on a unit cost based on my cost a unit cost based on retail cost and you also have the option to set your accuracy and how you want your cost to be displayed and also on top here you have notice that we have a page header you have the option to edit the page header and if you edit that you can go through and you can just click on it double click and you can choose the justification, you can change the text, uh, make any kind of adjustments you want. Uh, click on the logo, double click it, and you can uh, change the logo if you want. And so once you've made changes, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and delete uh, these entries out of here. So we just have a, a blank estimation um, header here. So now at this point, I can choose Save As. And I have the option to save my uh, header template here. Choose OK. And now I have the option to uh, add that in at any time that I want. So I just choose OK. So then I'll have a blank header that's uh, ready to edit uh, the information I need for that particular uh, report at any time that I want. And once you have the report looking how you want it to look, uh, there's one final step that you need to do is we need to send this report um, to our estimate section here. So we have over here, if you notice, um, I have a whole other category in my project uh, It says estimates. I have one for invoices and documents as well. We're just going to go ahead and send this um, to the estimates category. And then here it gives us a, a report that says that it was successfully sent to the estimates. So now to view that, we just go and close this out. We'll go to our estimate section. And now it's here in our project and it's ready for us to print. Uh, the, this estimation report is broken down into individual objects. So if we were to zoom in, you'll see that uh, all these are broken down into like text boxes and, and drawing objects. And you can edit these here, uh, but if you were to make any changes, uh, quantities and things like that, I would suggest uh, generating another report and then sending it back to this estimate section here and it'll just overwrite this. And from here, you're ready to go ahead and print your report. So you'd go to File and then choose Print. And from here you have the, the Print section and we just go over here and we would just check the three estimate pages that we want to print. And as long as they're check marked, anything that's check marked, whether it be under Documents, Floor Plans, all these check marked options, when we hit Print, it's going to print all these particular options. If you just want uh, just these estimate pages, we just uncheck the Floor Plan pages and choose Print Selected Pages. And one final note, if uh, at any time you're wanting to generate just a, a quick estimation bid and you don't want to create a full project, uh, assigning database items to symbols and things like that, what you want to do is you want to go to File and you want to just create a new project for this. And so what you'll do is you'll go under Project and you'll just add uh, inventory items for this project under that project section. And so you'll just, from this point, you'll just add your particular items. So we'll just go ahead and add uh, some labor, Let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and find some of those receptacles. 
let's say we'll go ahead and change the quantity so we got a few items here so as we're uh, going along we're, we're adding uh, these items under the project inventory so it's not just uh, in the case that you know you're adding things like labor and permits, but you can also add uh, any of the objects that you would normally assign to a symbol in a project. Uh, in this case, we're just doing this here. Um, we don't want to add a bunch of symbols to a project. We just want to generate a quick bid. So we hit close, and we can go straight to the reports and just go to project report, and it'll just generate a report for us uh, from that project inventory. And we hope you find this video useful in helping you get started uh, taking advantage of the inventory manager uh, and the different options that you have available there as well as the reports.